cool. I man. love the saying God did because it's that's what I believe in, bro. Every time we do a cool pod, you 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 I honestly genuinely believe God, God worked through us. Right, but you you do it on the humble. You through let us. it. But there's something about Khaled. When he <laughs> says it, it's so like shut up. You know what I mean? God did. <laughs> He's so cocky. Please shut up, shut up, and shut up. And he has a perfect line beard. It's like, oh, dude, it makes you want to be racist to Persians. I hate North Van. He, is he, when oh, I listen to DJ Khaled. Oh, 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 yo. Strictly Beloved Live. In effect, coming to your earlobes, spitting that goodness to your ear. Episode. Ear milk. 16. Season 3. Is it 16? Throw another a random number out there. No idea. Mm. Matters it doesn't. We are here. <laughs> <laughs> we are here, man. No idea. We're here. And we're just we're, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're here and we're queer. I've always wanted to say that. We're here and we're queer. Yeah. <laughs> but it is it would just be cap. But yeah. it's it's uh if it was real, I'd be saying that all the time. Yeah. You know? We're here and we're queer. Oh yeah, for sure. It's such a fun thing to see. It is. Yeah. Cause it's like a bold, but then it's cute. Yeah. It has a good rhythm. Like to you it. could march, you know what I mean? March to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a marching thing. Yeah, you can march to it. Yeah. We're here and we're queer. We're here and we're queer. Yeah. Yeah, fierce. All fierce? Yeah. Yeah, hella fierce. That's crazy. Um, Boy, is it hot, brother? It's, it's hot. It's been as hot, day dude. As long. Yeah, it's it, been hot, dude. And I and, and I don't, I love the heat. I, like uh, somebody was telling me the other day, I want summer to end. Yeah. That's how hot it's been. But I'm like, I don't want summer to end. I just, you know. Just turn it down a little just bit. Just turn it down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I love summertime. Summertime in this city is beautiful. Are you a, f- I'm a fall guy, man. I'm a fall guy. I love fall. I'm not going to I love fall as well. Because I'm a pumpkin, just- I'm a pumpkin spice nigga. I love, <laughs> you know how they always, it, 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 it's like white, white girls co-opted October. Yeah. And we gave it to them. We yeah. play the, we, with the memes like, oh, it's. Pumpkin spice season and yada yada yada. Yeah. I love uh, uh fall. I love I fall love time. pumpkin spice. I I don't like pumpkin spice, but I love fall. <laughs> <laughs> I love fall. I love putting a sweater on, a scarf, a motherfucking pea coat. I love it, bro. Oh, my pea coat game is crazy. Oh, I love a good pea my coat game, game. Is my coat game is atrocious, dude? My coat game is nuts. We should have a coat battle. Oh, let's have a coat off. Oh, no, dude, let's do a coat off. <laughs> Dude, Dino, that'd be so funny. And like, you know that Cedric the Entertainer joke where the gangsters used to dance? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We short coats. Oh, man. Yeah, do a catwalk. Yeah. <laughs> we're here and we're queer. Oh, that's fire. Dude, that's, that's fire. fire. We got to do a coat off in September. I'll take on the motherfucking CIA, nigga. Classic. Huh? Well, that, yeah. Classic. yeah. You haven't heard that in a while. Yeah, have yeah, you? I have. Have you out there in Spotify land? Yeah, yeah. You I fucking that. love that. Yeah. He's so. Yeah, rhyming. They all <laughs> have, <laughs> he's looking for smoke. He always and he wants was smoke. old too. I loved that man. I I always uh. I can't I wait to get old. Hold, hold his uh. Yeah. His name is so much respect, man. That's Doctor Dick Gregory. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I follow his son. He his, follows me. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Shut. Up. Dick Gregory followed me his Twitter account before he oh, passed. Oh, that's so funny! It was lit, man. Yeah, I don't know why, but it was. Yeah, maybe it was. That, that's incredible. I have a I have a bunch of his uh, his books. Yeah, yeah. So I I love Dick Gregory. That's that's beloved, man. Um, well, first of all, God did. God did. See, <laughs> God did. <laughs> hey, man, why can't you pay your rent? Hey, man. God did. Why can't you do your chores? God, God did. God. <laughs> he <laughs> he either makes you want to be an atheist Who? a Khaled. DJ Khaled. Yeah, yeah. He makes you want to not hear nothing else from God ever again yeah. or makes you believe in God. I think, like, DJ Khaled is, he's just, like, annoying, man. He's, he's like, those, like, no offense, but those Persian guys that own... Uh, barbershops and they talk too much. Yeah. Oh, they're cutting your hair. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, he's a Javid. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, man. My Persian homies know what that is out there. What is that? What a is Jabi. that? It's like a, you know, like a, like a car salesman, man. Yes. Like an annoying one. I used to be a car salesman. Which is so funny. <laughs> Dude, so, a car, you're like kind of a piece of shit a little bit. Yeah. Somehow, if you sell cars, you're a, you're a scum. Yeah. But you got it together enough, you know, to sell something. Like, people like you. And that's how Khaled comes across. And he's he's mixed up God with it, too. Yeah. He's made God look uh, annoying. Oh, my God. And I hate it. And then like, and especially because he's, he's Muslim. So, even when he does the yeah, whole like, prayer thing, it and looks it's like, lame. And, 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 dude, that's hard to do. Like rappers always make it look cool. Yeah, he makes you know what it I look. Mean? Yeah, he makes it look. Uh, I, I'm. Oh, I don't even want to say. He makes it seem like he has Tourette's. Oh. I don't even want to make that offensive for people who have Tourette's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because because he just has annoying. Yeah. It's annoying. Yeah, bro. And and that picture that we saw that we were talking about last time of him and Diddy just fat, rich, <laughs> and in the studio. It makes you be like, I don't want to be rich if I get a little chubby like that. Yo. And I'm already there. Yeah. You know yeah. what I that little gut? Like, dude, he has that fucking the tire. He's walking off the plane. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, like the seagull. Yeah, like yeah. Like a seagull body, man. Yeah. And 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 that's fine, man. But I'm not who I'm not judging someone's body. But if you're going around screaming out what God did, yeah, then it's yo. like, why didn't God tell you to get your ass up and do some sit ups? Yeah. Go take a jog. What are we doing? You know what yeah. I mean? God Cause, did. Because it's not like... And you, and yeah, you, and God. you got a big gut? <laughs> you yelling, God did, and you're eating Big Macs? <laughs> God did. Yo. And I know everyone in the industry... Fuck, what does he have on everyone? I, what, yeah. what blackmail information does DJ Khaled have to get every nigga on, on, his, on his record? Yeah. How? Yeah, I sound. I'm hating. No, it's, I'm a hater. No, it, 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 it's true, bro. Cause listen, man, I love on, hip hop compilation albums. Like Stop when with DJ me. Clue used to do it, Funkmaster Flex. Shout out to Aunt Banks, best compilation album on the West Coast. Which so one? Talk to him, player. What? <laughs> I love to, when you get in your West Coast bag. When get, you talk like that, player. Oh, hey, Aunt, partner. Aunt Bank partner. Hey, Aunt Banks was the do. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Aunt what? Banks, Break uh, it down for us. And Banks was uh, uh, the Khaled if he wasn't annoying. Yeah. On, on the West Coast. Yeah. He would get the dopest West Coast artists together and do compilation albums. Yeah. Like you, yeah. That's I like sick. a. I love a compilation album. Yeah. Uh, w- when you when you know what the when the person who com- compilated it is shutting the fuck up and yeah. letting the people do yeah their thing yeah like. Go, sorry. Yeah, because he's not even like really. I he's not producing. He's not. I well maybe he is, but he he just uh, he's not a force to me. There was like Dr. Dre. I guess there's a West Coast guy who would do that. The compilations, like the Chronic. Dr. Dre would come in and and, and press a piano three times. <laughs> but you know that's a Dre yeah. piano. You yeah, know. Yeah, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> He'd do that. And he'd go, oh, nah. That's all he would have to do. I don't know. But Khaled, everyone does the beat. There's a, a photo of Dr. Dre, Kanye, and Eminem. And it's, it's our video or something. And it's, it's Khaled behind the camera going, God did. Yeah. He goes, he said, produced by Dre. Written by Kanye, and then someone in the comments said, then what did you do? Yeah, said, what did you do? Said, he goes, God did. Yeah. That's not an answer, man. Yeah, bro. It's too much. It's annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying, though. But it is an answer, though, too, man. I yeah. mean, it's like he's right at the end of the day because he's... Dude, dude, you can't find a... You can't pay a, a top-tier rapper to, to, to speak truths about how annoying Khaled is. There was a freestyle I saw him do. He did a freestyle when he was first starting to yell on, on niggas and he he was freestyling the Kanye and he was saying nigga. I mean every other word with more than Fat Joe and yeah. Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah. All the Joes. All the Joes. <laughs> Oh my God! And that's what I said. Who is this? Uh, <laughs> uh, who is this Arabian uh, a store, a uh, 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 gas station owner yelling at these niggas? <laughs> and why are they? Um, why is everyone okay with this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, get, I it, don't get it. He doesn't. He doesn't have bars. 
He's not out there. He's never his, spat. He's yeah. never spat. Did you see that video of him and Jadakiss in New York? Cause I, I didn't, but God did. <laughs> You know when I but come, that's what yo. you know what bro low key I love God did like the it's saying. so cool it's so cool I man. love the saying God did because it's that's what I believe in bro every time we do a cool pod you 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 I honestly genuinely believe God, God worked through us right but you you do it on the humble you let it yeah you man just God believe did. it God did all these things right like when when uh, this weekend. Uh, when oh, we were in that the was fucking a God, that was weekend. a God did weekend. That was a God did weekend. He put that together. That was God's work. Like we got to work together. We got to eat. We got to do all these things. Uh, you on stage. That whole show. That yeah. was like God's work. We we just let him do it. You, you, work we, through us. But there's something about Khaled. When he <laughs> says it, it's so like shut up. You know what I mean? God did. <laughs> He's so cocky. Hey, shut up, shut up, and shut up. And he has up. a perfect line beard. It's like, oh, dude, it makes you want to be racist to Persians. I hate North Van. He, is he, when oh, I listen to DJ Khaled. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, I'm not touching that, no, I'm man. Kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, kidding, I'm kidding. Don't, I'm kidding. I'm That's kidding. too crazy for me, man. Yeah. I'm turning on you. <laughs> yeah, no, that is a lot. I'm sorry. Because he's not, is he, he's not Persian. Isn't he? <laughs> you said it like a racist. I did. You said, said it like your a voice, racist. Your voice was. <laughs> he said, "Is he?" <laughs> I did say it like a racist. You know when, like, I think he's when a... Mexi- when white girls go, like, when they think of himself as yeah, uh, Mexican, Guatemalan they go, or Honduran, aren't you Mexican? Right? And they, you and then they go, <laughs> "Aren't you?" Yeah, like no. you don't know. Yeah, aren't they don't you? know. No, but they're like, "Oh, I didn't know that." Then I go, "God did." <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, we gotta we gotta make that a draw. Yeah, yeah, Kyle is gonna be yeah, Kyle is gonna be a draw. <laughs> and he was, it worked, man. He we hated him at first, and now we love him. <laughs> God, and then he pops. We goes, God, God did. did. See, see. <laughs> Cal his tricks everywhere. He does. He man. tricked all these niggas, man. They love Cali too. Yeah. They'll drop anything for him. And they all go and do the song. And what's crazy it what's crazy is is out of all the shit God did, he 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 did not allow the best artist to make one good song yeah, on yeah. your compilation album. <laughs> Dude, they suck. <laughs> how <laughs> how do you get the best rappers and the best artists in the game to make a, a mid song? Yeah. That's uh, that's it's like a comedy, like a f- uh, comedy films, like in Hollywood comedy films. I haven't seen a funny one since, uh, like Step Brothers and and Wedding Crash. You know what I mean? That it, obviously it's subjective, but I'm not. I have nothing to gain in it. I love going to the movies, man. That was one thing I used to love to do. And yeah. did, and a comedy. Oh my god! I saw Anchorman in the movies when the when the, uh, when he Jack back Black picked up his dog and punted it off the freeway. Me and the homie lost. We fainted. Ah! Because we laughed like black. We laughed ignorant, too. We was laying on people. Ah! Ah! How do you do it? How do you do that? Dude. You can't do that. Every time I think about, like, uh, you laughing ignorantly, it's like you going to watch Kings All of Kings Comedy. All Kings of Comedy. That's oh. so we, funny. We, we left. We did school. And snuck into the movies yeah. during the daytime. Yeah. High noon. And you used to wear the big suits. Like oh, the for, to, for ch- yeah, for church. Yeah. But I didn't wear that to the... <laughs> oh, yo. oh, I thought you wore it to the theater. That's why it killed what? me even more. What? I went, yo. Yo, you're racist. And that's <laughs> hilarious. You are racist. Ooh, go to... The... <laughs> yo, we wore Steve Harvey suits to the Kings. We were 17. We were 16. <laughs> what? What are you Bro, what are you talking that about? That sounds so that funny, sounds though. That sounds crazy. That to sounds like, hilarious. To be laughing in that big suit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, but that shit, that, oh, that kills God. me, bro. We had a good time. So you get the best actors, the funniest people, and they they don't say one funny thing in the movie. Yeah. That's what movies are now. Yeah. And well, it's me- like, how'd you do that? How'd you? Because that guy's hilarious. Yeah. This guy's a genius. And then together in this script, it's not funny. With these albums that Khaled are putting Khaled's putting together. They're mediocre. They're mid. They're super mid, bro. He's getting the Yankees in the early two thousands. 
Yeah. Remember when there's no cap on baseball? Yeah. You could just buy the, and they bought the best money could buy. Yeah. Jeter and A Rod. Yeah. They're just throwing money. These guys are just all heavy hit, all roided out. And Jeez. everybody's everybody's Ugh. always pumped too when they when they're about to come out. They're like, "You ready for that new Khaled?" And it's always the same result. I'm never ready for the new Khaled. Never ready for it. I hate <laughs> the new Khaled. I've only liked one Khaled song that 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 came out was Major Key by Jay, and that's it. I liked uh, I liked uh, Go Hard. Is it Go Hard? With T Pain and uh, Kanye, uh, uh, to me, gonna never stick to you. Nah. It was something like go hard or something. It was all. It was. It was. It went hard. It was a. Uh, uh, it was hard. <laughs> Pause. It was hard, man. <laughs> and it was like they were spitting in a some kind of like. It was very. It had a lot of energy to it. Kanye went off crazy. Khaled, Khaled made sense. It was that screaming and shit. Yeah, was all perfect for that. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know about this God did thing, man. <laughs> the way he's selling it, it seems like he's selling it. Like yeah. he's selling you, he's he's forcing this concept. But it, and you're not even telling me which God. Tell me to don't hide it. Tell me it's the the uh, 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 the Muslim God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me it's the nine eleven God. <laughs> the nine eleven God. <laughs> no, wow. No, all right. That's all crazy. right. Fine. <laughs> all right. Fine. fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right. I'm talking loose. But, um, yeah, I usually don't hate, man. Yeah. And I feel like I'm hating. You know, I, I, I keep a, I try, I try to keep to that code of, would I be able to say this to, to Khaled's face? And that's the question. That's the question. That's man. the question. And that's a, you know, that's a really good question to like, that's a rule of thumb for me to, to like pull apart your, your layers. Like, who are you? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. And then I ain't shit. Who yeah. am I? I'm 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 nothing. I'm less than a blade of grass. Yeah. I'm a, a faint whisper. Yeah. Uh I'm 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 the lowest of the low. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you know, but God did. <laughs> no, but I got, but I have a, a Apple subscription and I could listen to music yeah. down here in the sewer. Yeah. And but you, yeah, and, and you can I, still have an opinion on it. You have an opinion on yeah, it. Yeah, and especially if you like, dude, you like good art. Mm. That's something about you. You know what I mean? I That's something it. about me. Right. We, we love we good art. It. So when, when and like, artists too, and good artists. So when like there's a compilation of all the artists that we love, and like uh, about the culture that we love, and it's mid, it's like yeah, we're gonna say something. But, uh, That's our job. Yeah, rightfully so. You know and we're I mean? gonna be honest. So. I would say that to Khaled if he ever, yeah, you know, <laughs> somehow he's like, Dino, what, what do you think about it? Not that he would, but yeah. I would be able to say that, man. That is, and there's been so many great albums that came out this year, bro. JID's new album's fire. Okay, Joey Badass's, uh, oh, Ben yeah. Staples, like anything Griselda them put out is 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 I above, love it. Is above mid. It, yeah, man, it's above all this shit and like. But then when when these albums come out, they're like, oh, th this is like the Titanic's coming out. Right. And it's like, no, bro, they're not good. Yeah, no, you can't just yeah. tell me. You, you you know, you can't sell off the, the hype, man. You yeah. can't sell off like the hype. Like that song I was showing you in the car, God, God Did. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's, it's you know like, the name of this episode is God Did. 100%. We said God Did like 700 <laughs> times. God Did. What's that? Let me write it down. Yeah, yo. <laughs> so... So yeah, that that's the only um, song I like. I don't even like the whole song. I only like Lil Wayne and Jay, and that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, and Lil Wayne went hard, and that was light work for Lil Wayne. Yeah, Lil Wayne is that. Yeah, it's it's okay for Jay Z fans to to uh, admit that every verse isn't his greatest verse. Yeah, you know what I mean. For sure, and I think they're having a hard time. Well, I mean, the that. reason that they love this verse. Jay, and I'm a Jay fan. Me, I, I I respect Jay, man. Yeah. The re the reason why people love this verse so much is because like it's like they're like, oh my god, he rapped for three verses straight. Right. And it's like, so? <laughs> yeah, he's done. That part is what I'm not uh, impressed by. Yeah, that's it's like that's what amount. everyone's like trying because like the things he's saying in it, yeah, they're dope, but good rhymes, like good flow. But that's just Jay. Man, he's I, a pro. Honestly, I I zoned out. 
Yeah, yeah. I zoned out. And, yeah. and then I came back in and he was still spitting some yeah. good, you know, sound, uh, <laughs> sound, reasonable, uh, a, a slightly braggadocio, factual, you know, rap. New York shit. New York shit. Yeah, um, and, 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 and like, I love the verse. I think it's great, but I don't think it's his best. No, yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't do, Yeah, it, it throws things out of whack because you could pull up so many other verses. Yeah, man, J- Jay-Z on Pusha T's album this year was amazing. Yeah. Right, like, yeah. that whole album, Pusha, T, Pusha T's, Push your tears. Entire album destroyed Jeez. Khaled's album. And this wasn't even Push's best album. No. And it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, like, yeah, I don't know why. And and you know what, bro? Like, that is low-key, like, it's whack that this, I like, think, I this think, guy who's not black or, or Latino or is, like, is, me, is getting all this shine. You brought it up. I'm glad you brought it up, man. What's because, a fact? Well, what's happening right now is... They're trying to re rewrite history and say that hip hop was equally created by Puerto Ricans and I, Latin community. But this is where we disagree. I hip, think hip, it, it hip is. Hip hop, not hip hop culture, not the five pillars of hip hop culture, whatever yeah. they are. <laughs> <laughs> break dance. Break Puerto dance. Ricans can break dance their ass off. They ass off. That's a whole fact. That's a fit. Nobody's out. taking that away from yeah, you guys. Yeah, graffiti. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Nice with the wet with the spray can. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, stabbings. <laughs> oh, you got yay. some nasty with the <laughs> nasty with the <laughs> stabbing car, car jack. No. <laughs> you guys contributed to the culture. Chain snatching. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Tim stopping. <laughs> Tim stopping. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of Puerto Ricans. Yo, <laughs> yo, man. Because <laughs> Puerto Ricans are just niggas with curly wigs. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa. You're spitting. Okay. Yo, yo, that wasn't even you. Cr- god yeah. did that. God did that. <laughs> Yo, God did. No, yeah. no. I'm going to approach this. Okay, I'll approach it from a serious point. There's no, it's not a diss to uh, to the Latin community because, oh, man, Latin community has so much flavor uh, uh, and, 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 and spice to it that I think when they say, oh, you didn't co-create hip-hop, it sounds offensive as if, like, you know, that that like you don't have other creations that are that are yours. You know what I mean? Like uh Tito 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 Puente and and Willie Barso what uh Cologne? No, no, uh, um Hector Laveau. Hector Laveau, man. Yeah. These guys, yeah, b- black people aren't saying we created that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like you guys have your own flavor and then yeah. you were around and you contributed, but how many did did contribute to the rap? But, but that's the that's thing. That's my though. question. I wasn't there. Okay, but that's the thing, though, right? It's like that, that, it's even a problem in like the the Latin communities, right? Because the guys you even just said, like Hector Lavoe, Willie Colon, um, uh, Tito Puente. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. Dude, at the end of the day, all dope shit that we listen to nowadays, like all that reggae, the cumbia, whatever, whatever, like it all comes from African sounds. End of the day. Okay, okay, all right, but I'm gonna debate you on this. Okay, because yes. You, uh, uh, everything comes from Africa. Uh, I mean, I, I'm talking about the music. I'm talking about the music too, yeah. though. But I'm saying elements of if you go to Africa, are they singing that Spanish? Uh, uh, the way that you're singing it in, in no, no, no. Co- but but I'm talking about I'm talking about like the like the slaves, like back in the day when there was the slave trade was going on in the Caribbean yeah, and yeah. Uh, uh, like Cuba, all of that shit, all that music. Came from those the inf- right the inf- the the origin and the influence of yeah. it. I I completely understand, but at some point, it's okay to be proud of what your culture formed something into that 100%. just your culture did. One hundred. I think that's part of culture. One hundred percent. So I'm yeah. not gonna give the Africans credit yeah. for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, because 
unless you go to Africa and they're singing exactly that. That that happened with Fela Kuti uh-huh. it, uh, with Afro beats. They say, oh, that's the Afro. He came to America yeah. and got influenced and went back. So being a mixture and a breed of, of, of other influences is okay. So I think that, I think that, uh, but when you start rewriting history and saying, especially when you come to, when it comes to hip hop, uh, yeah. it's, it's uh, important. It's, it becomes an important thing to, for the people who were there yeah. to acknowledge what, what, what did happen. Just acknowledging something yeah. doesn't take away from contributions. Yeah. And I think right now it kind of seems like that's how the conversation is taking place. Yeah. You know, with hip hop. Yeah. With rap music. Getting to your point, though, about you have an out, a, a person who is not a black person. Yeah. But is a is a white Muslim. Yeah. Really. Yeah. But is can get this roster, of the best rapper rappers together and man, have them proud to be on it. It's it, I, I'm it, I'm I'm like, yo, what did what does this guy have on yeah. these people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, is it secrets? <laughs> Probably you know I mean? some like fucking okay. Illuminati shit. Okay. You get these yeah. guys. Yeah. Get Jay Z out of retirement. To do you is God did. I mean, that's God the only did. way you could. He's God. It. Yeah. Yes. DJ Khaled's is God. God. How crazy would that be? Yo, if we found out he's God. It makes sense that he keeps <laughs> saying God did because who you know how else is do you pull something like that yeah. off? Yeah. You know, it's interesting though. Yeah, you gotta. A white uh, a Muslim guy, yeah, who is one of the most um, pow- powerful, I guess, influential in in hip hop. Yeah, you know, I don't know what that's about, man. Yeah, I think there's a black people love to give our culture away. We love to get acceptance and go, hey, come on in. We like inviting people to the cookout. Yeah. If you can dance, or if you could just, if you like us, yeah. we're like, take it all. Yeah. That's, there's some element of that. Yeah. So I'm not mad at uh, the people who are invested in clearing, making sure what's on the record of how hip hop began or the contributions. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it becomes. But what important. do you, what do you think about all that? Like the Puerto Rican thing and like, uh, like Fat Joe, cause Fat Joe like went viral th- because I- he, he. He was arguing with people online. I mean, Fat Joe, obviously, he's going to, he was there, man. So I think Fat Joe is an exception to the rule. Yeah. Because Fat Joe. It just, can, can, I, can I tell you my experience? Yeah. So, and, and yeah, whatever. Like, if people get mad, then they get mad. But, like, you know when, like, when, when white people listen to rap, you know, and, and they like rap way too much, you could just, it's cringy. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, or like yes. this guy's like Eminem or like a, he's like a wigger or even like uh, my man, uh, DJ Khaled. It's just too much. Like, it just feels weird. But with me as a, like a Latino man, like from El Salvador, I wasn't born in New York. I wasn't born in L.A., uh, like where hip hop is like the birthplaces. I wasn't born there. I grew up in Calgary, all these things. But like when I love rap, when I put my hat backwards, when I got tattoos, when I like know a lot about rap that I do, I I hope it doesn't come off as cringy. You know what I mean? Because I, I legitimately believe it's part of my culture. And and the, and, and the things that Puerto Ricans and Mexicans have, uh, Mexican-Americans and Puerto Rican-Americans have brought to the game in in rap, I'm proud of. You know what I mean? And, it, and it's like, oh, yeah, there's contributions there. First of all, the Bronx is, major, is the majority Puerto Rican, and that's where it was born. And yeah, it started from a scratch from a um, a Jamaican a Jamaican DJ, but like it elevated beyond that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it it that started that way, but but black people were rapping uh, in the 40s and 50s. You yeah. know, watching watch the videos of these guys like uh, break b-ball. break dancing and like spitting. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, like there's all sorts of you know evolutions to. To what led to uh, to rap, so it it being uh, credited in New York and the Bronx, yeah, you can't deny that that uh, there had to be a Spanish influence and a bit of a seasoning there to it. And I think being proud of contributions is great. And I think that it it culture does uh, that's the thing about culture like that, especially if it's out of. 
it's out of an economic class too. You have to think about it like that. So when you think about an economic class, that involves different colors, you know. So if you're white, if you're Puerto Rican, if you're black, if you all, if you are in the South, and I, you know, if you pretty much you have to earn your nigga card, you know. If it's if you can say I'm I belong to this coach Eminem, he earned that card. Eight Mile Trailer Park really loved black. He loved black shit. He lived for it. And that, and he didn't, as long as you can't put down your, pick up and put down the culture, that's cringy. If you turn your hat a different way when you leave here and you're in, and you're a whole different kind of, you know, you're Mexican, like if you're a Mexican for Trump after this, like, and you're not, then you're not honest about who you are. That I don't like when yeah. you can pick up black culture when it's convenient and put it down. Yeah, that's a fact. That's the part that makes it. I'm who am I, the the gatekeeper of blackness? I'm not. There's people who there's white kids who lived in the slums who feel way more at home in the slums than I would. Yeah. I got a pool. Yeah. <laughs> God did. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you know, that was so poetic. <laughs> God did. God did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my opinion. So I, I respect your opinion. I and I, I think Joe, man, yeah, Joe has definitely earned his nigga card. I mean, yeah. he's, you know, but he, so he's a guy who, who is in those different cultures. Nori's a guy who's in, uh, you know. So I feel like they can speak from a different perspective, cause, yeah, they put in that that they they were yeah they put in their contribution to the game and they also. You know, they were being business with, they, they've been themselves. That's what I respect. Fat Joe is like Fat Joe yeah. in the Bronx on the Nori show. Yeah. He's himself and, and you know, he's and, also just a guy too. Yeah, and, and for whatever reason too, I just never, with rap and hip hop, I just never felt like an outsider. I always felt like, oh, this is like this beloved like union of these two cultures in, in like uh, in the States that like, have been oppressed or uh, that lived in similar situations. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And like, bro, I remember when I was a kid and Tupac rapped that line where he's like, uh, and what would LA be without Mexicans, black pride, brown love, and Ooh, the sex again. again. I remember when I was a kid, I was like, I, I would look at everyone and go, see? <laughs> <laughs> you were Khaled early. <laughs> 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 you were a little annoying Khaled. Yo. <laughs> <Seize>. <laughs> yeah, every time he says it, it feels like he's saying C. Yeah, it did. yeah, like you said it. He said that. And it was a little chubby too. Yeah. Little Khaled with the perfect beard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> C. Uh, shut up, burrito. Yeah. <laughs> Someone says shut up. Throws an apple at your head. That's so funny, man. Yeah, no, that's that's factor. That's factor trip, man. Is is like I and that's the thing too. I love like I fuck with Bad Bunny heavy. I love Bad Bunny. You know what I mean? Yeah. I fuck with Azul. Yeah. There's a guy named Azul. He's I think he's a Puerto Rican rapper. I might be wrong, but yeah. Cold man. I fuck with uh J Balvin. Oh God. Daddy but, Yankee. But that's the thing is know? like and why I love rap so much is because it's forcing like Latinos to look at themselves. You know what I mean? Because this whole time we just saw ourselves as this one thing you know what i mean okay. this one entity right uh whether you're mexican puerto rican dominican whatever you're that thing you're still part of this like bigger picture but now it's like no dude we have way beyond like we're so complex we're black we're fucking uh uh we're indigenous we're everything You know what I mean? Like we're, we're we're all these things, and like, and Ooh. it's no longer it's no longer like um, one one brush. It's everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like it it, it feels very like uh, I and I credit that to rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because because like black Dominicans or black Puerto Ricans, they don't have the same experience that a white Dominican would have, a light skinned Dominican or whatever. Yes. And it's a fact. They, they they don't. You know what I mean? There's racism within us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know. And that's the thing. I don't know how. I know that I seen that in, um, well, I didn't really. Yeah, I guess I, the story that sh that showed 
uh, a little bit of that was uh, what's that? One of my favorite movies, God, God, City, City of God. Yeah, City of God. A yeah. little bit. I'm sure that I'm I'm sure that there's other films that do it, you know. But I didn't know about the culture and the level of racism. But it only made sense or colorism. But because ninety percent of the the slaves were taken there to the South Americas, yeah. So, yeah, within that culture, you have, uh, um, you know, the same con- concept. Um, but you know, so then when you get to to hip hop, when you get to music and expression, you know that yeah, that's gonna travel, man. That's gonna definitely cross breed and 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 as it grows, is it, there's gonna be contributors along the way, you know, as there should be that make it their own and add something to it. But it doesn't take away uh, anything from it because you say the origins of it were predominantly X, Y, and Z, you know. It just, I don't see the, I don't see stripping that identity, how that takes away. In fact, it just gives credit to, and, and I think that's important, man. I think that's important as a, you know, as any culture, you, you need to have, your uh, contributions uh, documented. And in America, black people have been stripped so much of our contributions and still we didn't get reparations still. So uh, the least we could get is credit for the shit that we did. Cause then where's all the Puerto Rican rappers right now? Like they just never, yeah, you, they just stopped, (laughs) you know, like, I mean, you know, I mean, that's yeah. There should be. I always thought that too. In, in Fresno, I grew up in Fresno, okay, old, old Mexico, and it used it was never enough of Mexican rappers. Yeah, I um, mean, there's a bunch. There's now, a lot. No, yeah. I'm talking about when I grew up. Yeah, there was not enough Mexican rappers, man. For how many Mexicans there were. Yeah. Uh, Baby Bash. Yeah. That was that was the homie. Baby Bash's brother. I, we went to high school together, and so you had like. You know, only if you didn't have a lot of representation, yeah. you know, and, but then as time goes, then you get more contributors to the game. So, yeah, that's I, both both things exist. Yeah. Uh, the truth of something or at least the history as we understand it. But also black people are just more talented. I mean, b- <laughs> very talented, <laughs> very talented, yeah. you know, very talented. That's yeah, we 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 you know, but. We all have different talents, though, too. Yeah. Like, I know that the people say that, too. They're like, black people are talented, but it's like, why don't we run uh, Wall Street then? <laughs> I don't care about that. Da- we could dance really good and, you know, d- d- run fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we get all these pats on the I back. I want to stop. Yeah, yeah, we get pats on the back for that. But our, you know, cont- cont- contributions to the medical game are... But the the shit that we've created the, the to make society easier and better, you know what uh, Doctor Carver did out of a peanut. The nigga made a steam engine or something out yeah. of <laughs> I don't I don't know. Yeah, I didn't do that, but God did. God did. <laughs> Yo, DJ Khaled was right the whole he time. He's been right, but dude. We've been saying God did. <laughs> we've been bashing him and praising him. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Okay, Griffith's here, man. Okay. Yo, God did, man. That God was did. our episode. episode. God did, guys. Uh, we got another episode coming up with a special guest. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this was a good episode. It was. Man, it was. We, we, we spat. Yeah, Max. we spat, man. Respect. God did. God did. Out. Out.